First New Right, 1955 to 1964. The First New Right was centered on the right wing libertarians, traditionalists, and anti communists at William F. Buckley's National Review. 624 sociologists and journalists had used New Right since the 1950s. It was first used as self-identification in 1962 by the student activist group Young Americans for Freedom. The first New Right embraced what it called fusionism, an ostensible synthesis of classical liberal economics, traditional social values, and anti-communism, and coalesced in the years preceding the 1964 presidential campaign of Barry Goldwater. The Goldwater Campaign which failed to unseat incumbent President Lyndon B. Johnson, hastened the formation of a new political movement. Second New Right, 1964 to present. The Second New Right was formed in the wake of the Goldwater campaign and had a more populist tone than the First New Right. The Second New Right tended to focus on wedge issues, such as abortion, and was often linked with the religious right. The Second New Right formed a policy approach and electoral apparatus that brought Ronald Reagan into the White House in the 1980 presidential election. The New Right was organized in the American Enterprise Institute and the Heritage Foundation to counter the so-called liberal establishment, which they viewed as a contributor to corruption and mismanagement of the federal government, in elite think tanks and local community organizations alike. New Policies marketing strategies and electoral strategies were crafted over the succeeding decades to promote strongly conservative policies. The second new right objected to a perceived decline in morality, including increased drug use, more public and open displays of sexuality, rising crime rates, race riots and unrest from civil rights protesters, and Vietnam War protesters. New right is a term for various right-wing political groups or policies in different countries during different periods. One prominent usage was to describe the emergence of certain Eastern European parties after the collapse of the Soviet Union. In the United States, the second new right campaigned against abortion, LGBT civil rights, the Equal Rights Amendment, ERA, the Panama Canal Treaty, affirmative action, and most forms of taxation. History New Right appeared during the 1964 presidential campaign of Barry Goldwater to designate the emergence. In response to American-style liberalism, I. E. Social liberalism of a more combative, anti-egalitarian, and uninhibited right popularized by Richard Vickery. The term became later used to describe a broader global movement. Those proponents of the night watchman state, but who also tended to be socially conservative, such as Ronald Reagan, Margaret Thatcher, Turgut Ozil or Augusto Pinochet. However, as Jean-Yves Camus and Nicholas Leborg point out, this leaning had only a few aspects in common with the European New Right that had been emerging since the 1960s. More inspired by the conservative revolutionary Moeller van den Bruck than by the classical liberal Adam Smith. Anarcho-capitalism A form of libertarianism that advocates for the replacement of all state institutions with private institutions is usually seen as part of the New Right. The New Right movement in South Korean politics is a school of political thought which developed as a reaction against the traditional divide between conservatives, the old right, and progressives. The New Right broke from past conservatives, who supported state intervention in the economy, by promoting economically liberal ideas. Many figures of the New Right have also become notable for criticizing anti-Japanese sentiment in South Korea. Opponents of the New Right movement described this as anti-leftism, military dictatorship advocates, 
Prosadizui, and pro Japanese identity. History Before the era of democratization, South Korea had been ruled almost continuously by a series of dictatorships, such as those of Park Chung hee and Chun Doo hwan. These regimes were characterized by stringent anti communism, authoritarianism, and state capitalism. And as a result, these attributes came to be seen as hallmarks of the older generation of Korean conservatives. After 1987, following democratization, conservatives adapted and modified their previous positions in order to counteract the rising successes of left wing activism in South Korean politics. Nonetheless, the conservative parties of the old style continued to hold a negative association with corruption of the past for many. And throughout the 1990s and into the early 2000s, progressivism characterized by support for social liberalism and a soft attitude towards North Korea became dominant in politics. As a result of this, a number of reform-minded right-wing groups known as the New Right developed in the 2000s as a reaction to the ascendancy of these progressives, whose ideology they considered harmful. Like the old conservatives, they opposed left-wing economic policies and a soft attitude toward North Korea. However, they also attempted to distance themselves from the sins of the older right-wing which they viewed as stagnant and out of touch, describing themselves as rational conservatives. These groups expressed a more flexible attitude towards North Korea through a willingness to recognize it as a separate country and to provide humanitarian aid for the citizens of North Korea. However, they balanced this with an anti-communist attitude and a support for free market economic policies. They also rejected the totalitarianism of the past and placed an emphasis on civil rights and liberty, overall. Their views were associated with classical liberalism. Initially, these new right groups contained many figures connected to the traditional conservative establishment and as a result they struggled to differentiate themselves from old-school conservatives for a time. This could be seen following the victory of conservative Lee Myung-bok in the 2007 presidential election. Lee's administration succeeded in replacing many progressive members of government-affiliated deliberative and advisory committees with members of new right organizations. Lee's successor, Park Geun-hye, the eldest daughter of dictator Park Chung-hee, continued to maintain close relationships with these modern conservative social groups even as her administration displayed an antagonistic attitude towards anti-government demonstrations and labor strikes. Unlike the moderate early New Right movement in the 2000s, the New Right movement has become increasingly extreme since the 2010s. Some New Right scholars have come under criticism for supporting the historical revisionist and extreme right-wing view of Gwangju uprising. There is an evaluation that the pro-Japanese New Right movement has a direct or indirect effect on the foreign policy of the Yoon suk yeol government. Political Views The New Right's view of modern and contemporary Korean history is known to be contrary to the view of progressive Korean nationalists. The New Right movement is led by descendants of those who collaborated with the Japanese imperialism and Showa statism during the time when Korea was a Japanese colony. New Right scholars try to promote pro-American and pro-Japanese sentiment among South Koreans. South Korea's New Rightists have a strong anti-communist perception of North Korea and a favorable perception of Japan. An ally with the United States. Because they have a stronger pro-American sentiment than liberal to progressives. According to South Korean political experts, the New Right movement is based on the Korean traditional, conservative Sadizui sentiment. There is a controversy that New Right scholars support the colonialist view of Japanese people. New Right scholars have been criticized socially for accepting Japanese historical revisionism for Japanese war crimes. Even Hong Junpyo, known as a hardline conservative, 
criticized new rightist perception of history. Yuji Hasaka A non-Korean Japanese-born naturalized South Korean accused new right of being a new Chinilpa in support of Japanese far-right. Hasaka accused South Korean new right scholars of sympathizing with Nippon Kaigi's view of history. Lee Wuyen, co-author of Anti-Japan Tribalism, was funded by a Japanese far-right groups. According to a report by the Kyunghyang Shinmun. United Kingdom In the United Kingdom the term New Right more specifically refers to a strand of conservatism that Margaret Thatcher and Ronald Reagan influenced. Thatcher's style of New Right ideology, known as Thatcherism, was heavily influenced by the work of Friedrich Hayek, in particular the book The Road to Serfdom. They were ideologically committed to economic liberalism as well as being socially conservative. United States in the United States, New Right refers to two historically distinct conservative political movements. These American New Rights are distinct from and opposed to the more moderate tradition of the so-called Rockefeller Republicans. The New Right also differs from the Old Right on issues concerning foreign policy with neoconservatives being opposed to the non-interventionism of the Old Right. Australia In Australia the New Right refers to a late 1970s, 1980s onward movement both within and outside of the liberal-slash-national coalition which advocates economically liberal and increased socially conservative policies, as opposed to the Old Right which advocated economically conservative policies and small-l liberals with more socially liberal views. Unlike the United Kingdom and United States, but like neighboring New Zealand, the 1980s saw the Australian Labour Party initiate third-way economic reforms, which bear some familiarity to new right ideology. After the John Howard coalition ended the 13-year rule of the Hawke-Keating Labour government at the 1996 federal election, economic reforms were taken further, some examples being wholesale labour market deregulation, e. g. Work choices The introduction of a goods and services tax, GST The privatization of the telecommunications monopoly Telstra And sweeping welfare reform including work for the dole The H. R. Nichols Society A think tank which advocates full workplace deregulation Contains some liberal MPs as members and is seen to be of the new right Economic liberalism is also called economic rationalism in Australia. The term economic rationalism was first used by Labour's Gough Whitlam to describe a market-oriented form of social democracy, but its meaning subsequently evolved. It is a philosophy which tends to advocate a free market economy, increased deregulation, privatization, lower direct taxation and higher indirect taxation, and a reduction of the size of the welfare state. The politicians favoring new right ideology were referred to as dries, while those advocating continuation of the economic policies of the post-war consensus, typically Keynesian economics, or were more socially liberal, were called wets, the term wets was similarly used in Britain to refer to those conservatives who opposed Thatcherite economic policies. But dries in this context was much rarer in British usage. France In France, the new right, or nouvelle droite, has been used as a term to describe a modern think tank of French political philosophers and intellectuals led by Alain de Benoist. Another noted intellectual, who was once part of Alain de Benoist's Greece, is Guillaume Fay. Although accused by some critics as being far-right in their beliefs, they themselves claim that their ideas transcend the traditional left, right divide and actively encourages free debate. France also has one identitarian new right group, which is connected with Thule Seminar in Germany, that is Terra E.T. Puppel of Pierreville 
who was once an integral part and founding member of Alain de Benoist's Greece. Germany In Germany The new erect, literally. New right, consists of two parts. The young conservative, literally. Young conservatives who search for followers in the civic part of the population, and secondly, the national revolutionaire, national revolutionists, who are looking for followers in the ultra-right part of the German population and use the rhetoric of right-wing politicians such as Gregor and Otto Strasser. Another noted new right group in Germany is Thule Seminar of Pierre Krebs. Greece Phalos Kronidiotis a Greek politician who had been expelled by New Democracy chairman Kyriakos Mitsotakis for expressing views similar to those of political rival Golden Dawn. Founded the New Right Party Based on National Liberalism In May 2016 His views diverged from those of former Prime Minister of Greece Konstantinos Mitsotakis whose legacy expressed the most important principle of its recently elected leadership including Adonis Georgiadis, who had been a member only since leaving far-right Popular Orthodox Rally in 2012. Israel New Right is a right-wing political party in Israel. Founded in 2018 and led by Ayelet Sheikh and Naftali Bennett. The party aims to be a party open to both secular and religious people. The party advocates the preservation of a strong right wing in Israel. Netherlands The New Right was the name of a far-right nationalist political party in the Netherlands from 2003 to 2007. The Party for Freedom, PVV, founded in 2005 and led by Geert Wilders, also is a new right movement. Since March 2017, Forum for Democracy is another new right party in the Dutch Parliament. New Zealand In New Zealand, as in Australia, it was the Labour Party that initially adopted new right economic policies. Rogernomics involved monetarist approaches to controlling inflation, corporatization of government departments, and the removal of tariffs and subsidies, while the party also pursued social liberal stances such as decriminalization of male homosexuality, pay equity for women and adopting a nuclear-free policy. This meant temporary realignment within New Zealand politics. As new right middle-class voters voted Labour at the 1987 New Zealand general election in approval of its economic policies. At first, Labor corporatist, many former government departments and state assets. Then emulated the conservative Thatcher administration and privatized them altogether during Labor's second term of office. However, recession and privatization together led to increasing strains within the Labor Party, which led to schism and the exit of Jim Anderton and his new Labor Party which later formed part of the Alliance Party with the Greens and other opponents of New Right economics. However, dissent and schism were not to be limited to the Labour Party and Alliance Party alone. During the Labour Party's second term in office, the opposition New Zealand National Party, popularly known as National, selected Ruth Richardson as opposition finance spokesperson. And when National won the 1990 general election, Richardson became Minister of Finance, while Jenny Shipley became Minister of Social Welfare. Richardson introduced deunionization legislation, known as the Employment Contracts Act, in 1991, while Shipley presided over social welfare benefit cuts. Designed to reduce welfare dependency, both core new right policy initiatives. In the early 1990s, Maverick National Party MP Winston Peters also came to oppose new right economic policies and led his elderly voting bloc out of the National Party. As a result, 
His New Zealand First Anti-Monetarist Party has been a partner in coalition governments led by both National and Labour. Due to the introduction of the MMP electoral system, a new right association of consumers and taxpayers party, known as ACT New Zealand, was formed by ex-Labour New Right, aligned cabinet ministers like Richard Preble and others, and maintaining existing New Right policy initiatives such as the Employment Contracts Act, while also introducing you. S style welfare reform. ACT New Zealand aspired to become National's centre-right coalition partner but has been hampered by lack of party unity and populist leadership that often lacked strategic direction. As for Labour and National themselves, their fortunes have been mixed. Labour was out of office for most of the 90s only regaining power when Helen Clark led it to victory and a Labour-slash-Alliance coalition and centre-left government, 1999-2002. However, the alliance disintegrated in 2002. National was defeated in 1999 due to the absence of a suitable stable coalition partner. Given New Zealand First's partial disintegration after Winston Peters abandoned the prior national-led coalition. When Bill English became leader of National in 2001, it was thought that he might lead the party away from its prior hardline new right economic and social policies. But his indecisiveness and lack of firm policy direction led to ACT New Zealand gaining the new right middle class voting basis in 2002. When Don Brash became leader, new right middle class voters returned to National's fold causing Nationals' revival in fortunes at the 2005 New Zealand general election. However, at the same time, ACT New Zealand strongly criticised it for deviating from its former new right economic policy perspectives. And at the same election, National did little to enable ACT's survival. Don Brash resigned as National Party leader, being replaced by John Key who was a more moderate national MP.